Hey, hey there. This is Dave, cubes underscore art, and I'm here to do an unboxing from the cubicle. It just arrived this afternoon, and I cannot wait to get this thing open. Um, I'm pretty excited. This is the first uh, collaboration that we're doing. I'm going to do a, a cube review for them. I know Phil has been talking up the 3x3 three three, uh, she MS, um, and now I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to actually do a review for the 4 and the 5 on the She MS. So those should be in here. Um, I also asked Jules for a t-shirt um, so that I could, um, you know, rep the cubicle during my videos and stuff. So I'll be wearing that during my, um, during parts of my videos from here in. And uh, I also got some stuff in here for me. So, uh, so let's see what's in here. All right. So there's the T-shirt. Oh no! First, <laughs> okay. So these are a bunch of um, bunch of cube stands. I got the clear kind, uh, kind of like these, but these don't have the cubicle uh, branding on them. So I ordered a handful of these. They were like on super discount. So let's see. They're very nice. Oh, they got the silver one there. I dig that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so there's 10 of these, and I will definitely be um, using those to display my cubes from here on in, so yay. All right. Now, um, I saw that Jules added the the vert T. Yeah, that's cool. So the cubicle is just written kind of in this plain font, two colors with uh, in the vertical. And that's down the side, the right side of the T. Super pumped about that. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. So, there's five puzzles in here, it looks like. And it looks like, uh huh. There's an advertisement for premium lubricants. Ooh, that's nice. Actually, I was just talking to JC about this yesterday, like all the differences between them. This is super handy. I will be posting this on my wall as a reference. That's great. Awesome. So I think I got one of these tricked out um, and personalized. Let me just check, see which one it was. Let's see. Um, no, it's just the regular G MS 5x5 and 4x4. So here's the MS 5x5 and the MS 4x4. Awesome. <laughs> I'm really excited to open these guys up. Um, cool, cool. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Um, but I'm gonna save those uh, for the review. So, let's see what else is in here. Also ordered. Ah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna hold on to that for a sec. So, real quick, this is just a normal Fisher cube. I don't have one, and I don't wanted one, so I got one. And then, oh. Uh-huh. I threw in a little uh, a little something something for me. That's awesome. Too cool. <laughs> it's an Angstrom uh, MS 3x3. Wait a sec. I might have ordered this. Oh yeah, I totally did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. I thought I was like, oh wow, that's uh, that's awesome. Alright. So yeah. So this is the the MS3, but they've uh, tricked it out with things. I guess that's why they gave me the um, the lubricant guide. Cool. Awesome. That's going to be fun, too. I'm going to play with this tonight. Um, but first, I want to see this guy. All right. That's all that's in the box, except, of course, the cubicle card. Puzzles for everyone. Great slogan. Because everyone deserves puzzles. Okay, let's see this bad boy. <laughs> okay, so this is the Wit Eden um, 3x3x9 by by Part 2. The it, I think the difference between the 1 and the 2 is that the, the center caps on uh, white and yellow on the first version are solid, one piece, and then here they're three pieces. And I recently saw one where there were more. I think they, they've made a, a, a version 3 now, um, so I'm going to have to get that sometime. 
anyway. Right on the box here, it just says one and two, but I think I might be wrong there. I thought I saw um, a, a new version of this out. So I'll put a caption on the bottom and say whether or not there is one. It turns five. I was actually expecting this to turn like to be really hard to turn. So let's see about these layers. Ooh, interesting. So they're like clicky, which makes me think that and they're a bit grippy, like kind of like dry grip. Um, but they're clicky, which makes me think that maybe there's like some mechanism on the interior that's kind of, yeah, like see that angle there, that little right angle. They probably have to reach down in there and grip. And so those are those those little grip parts moving past each other. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna scramble this now. <laughs> These layers are so thin. It's awesome. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Now I need to figure out how to get these guys to to perm with each other. So and to get in the mix. And I think I just give it a turn that way so that they're on the same axis. Awesome. And now I'm gonna give it. Uh, let's make that middle one yellow. So I'll give it a half turn. I think that's going to force these middle ones to be the same color too. Yeah, put, put a little cross right here in the red and orange. Interesting. So if I, if I do a half of So the center most of these is going to act like a three by three, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I, it's not possible to just perm, like say this orange one with that orange one, because there's only one of that piece in each of the colors. Yeah. But see, these two guys probably are going to act like wings. Um, I guess these are going to act like off-center pieces um, on the middle of the face. And then these guys are going to act like edges with the center and wing edges. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like trying to figure out what this puzzle is about. That's a cool look. I dig that. Oh, man. That's awesome. All right, let's give it a, a, an actual scramble. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the bandaging on here is funny because it's it's not like uniform oh god that looks like a, like an a, like 1970s like like Brady Bunch fireplace or something like that that's awesome <laughs> I can really dig this cute yeah I've been wanting one of these since I first saw it and now I'm this is like Christmas morning for old Dave awesome well I'm going to be playing with this alright so yeah, so they bandage and they, they lock up so you can't, those three layers are stuck for a while and you, you gotta wait till you get a good, you gotta get them all lined up. This is gonna be really, really tricky to scramble this thing and to solve it. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, because I'm, I wanna turn a layer, but these bandages are stopping it. Great. This is cool. This is so cool. I'm pumped. Sorry, I'm, I know I keep saying that, but it, it's true. So I'm gonna keep saying it. Wow. <laughs> oh man, my mind is blown right now. This is great. Awesome. So there's that. Let's see this angst from three by three. So I'm not, I mean, I, could, I guess I could do a review for this too. Here it goes. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna do like a full on um, review for those two. So I'm going to save the unboxing until until I make that video. Okay. So straight from the labs. Oh my goodness. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I can't believe this is like under... I, mean, I think this is like 15 bucks and it's set up Angstrom. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Uh, the price isn't on here. I think that was like, holy cow, that's awesome. I can't believe you can get this cube for, like, I mean, you could probably set this up. I mean, not as good as they do the cubicle, but, you know. You could get this for eight bucks and then set it up. Oh, man. Do they, do they, like, fix the caps on these? Or is it just that hard to get off? I'm wondering. It looks powdery in there. Oh, that's lube. It's liquid, it's not powder, it's liquid. Cool. <laughs> of course my first inclination is to try to, to try to pull this thing apart. Oh, okay, so the center caps 
are held in with these four little peg things. They've got some kind of washer on the screw. I'm not very familiar with all the different types of, um, of, of different screw systems these guys take, but that is too cool. I like that A. That's the first cube I have that's, uh, that's got Angstrom sticker on it. That's awesome. It's my first Angstrom cube I got. Yeah, so. Of course it is. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking smooth. Holy cow. I'm not a speed cuber, and I already like love this cube. I don't even. Yeah, it's nice. Cool. And I know people do. They gotta do. <laughs> they gotta cut the corner when they first get a cube. But I mean, that means nothing to me. Watch how it just like kind of slides in. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna. This is awesome. I'm gonna, of course, scramble this more and solve it tonight. But. This guy is fun to play with. I can't believe this is so affordable. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sorry. That's just still kind of amazing to me. No, oh, oh, not that one. So JC taught me how to insert uh, F2L, and I've already forgotten. I'm a bad student. Let's see. Oh, I got those back. So, so slow cubers out there, you know, you can take comfort in knowing that there's <laughs> there's me here equally equally as slow and sometimes probably slower than you, so fear not. We are all on a journey to improve as people, as humans, and as cubers. Oh, I screwed that out, God. This is great. If you like this music, that is the polys. And they are some friends of mine from the Shoals, from the, my hometown, where I grew up. Um, and they're really cool. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Wow. <laughs> That's too cool. Love this cube. That's awesome. I can see why Phil made that his main. Absolutely. All right. Now for the Fisher cube. Let me check this guy out. So there's instructions in there. I don't want to look at those though. All right, let's see. I'm guessing this is a three by three that's just the axes are tilted 45. That is what it seems to be at first. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Okay, pretty straightforward. I'm not that surprised by it. But please, nonetheless, that's, <laughs> this is cool for patterning. You can do this quarter turns on this skinny layer, these two skinny layers, and try to get some funky stuff going that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. This is going to be fun. Awesome. So I think this is, um, who made this one? Moyu. Oh, yeah, the Moyu Fisher Cube by Tony Fisher says. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, glad that glad I can throw that in, in the collection now, along with all the rest. Oh, this is so cool! I'll get some nice center switching patterns out of this. A quarter turn, like on on these centers, is really gonna do some cool stuff. Awesome. All right, so let's <laughs> let's do some patterning on here. See what we can do. All right, there's quarter turns on all of those center pieces. Let's see. I turned reds up and oranges down. Let's. Um, oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, <laughs> it is. It is intuitively hard to. Um, so these these are actually centers, but they look like edges, and so I was inclined to try to turn it like that, but can't do that because that's a center. It's got to turn this way. All right, so. Um, Let's see. Do a half turn. Oh, goodness, this is hard to grip. I've probably still got some of the angstrom lube on my hand from 
in the MS3. There we go. Okay, so now we've got the red and orange both up, and the blue and green both up this way. Oh, this is this will be fun to pattern because these corners only have two colors, and these edges have three, and the centers have two, and those edges have one. Oh, yeah, there's going to be some cool patterns out of this. I'll get to work and share those with you uh, soon. Excuse me, I'll share these with you soon. This is going to be a fun cube too. Okay, take care of people. Happy cubing. See you later. Goodbye.